It's well known that webinars are a great tool for selling and also for educating people. And with our latest set of templates, we've made it even easier for you to get more people to register for your webinars and attend them. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and today we're gonna to have a look at a set of Thrive landing page templates that are specifically made for webinars. And that works great because recently we have added an integration with GoToWebinar. So you can now use any forms in Thrive Content Builder and Thrive Landing Pages or in Thrive Leads to sign people up directly to a GoToWebinar event. And I'll link below this video to more information about that in the tutorial if you wanna see exactly how that's done. So let's take a look at the first of our templates and you'll find them here if you go into the landing page selection, you'll see the vibrant set. Let's look at the vibrant webinar registration page. So this is a basic webinar registration page. As you will not be surprised to see at the very top, we have a big fat headline where you make your main benefit statement. This is where you wanna tell people why they should care, why they should register for your webinar. You know, tell them the most important thing basically that they'll come away with from attending your webinar. Next, we have a section that really combines a lot of information and a call to action. So here you can have a picture of whoever is gonna be the main presenter in the webinar. Uh, you can also have some social media links there, which can help with credibility, right? Especially if you have someone on who's got a large social following, that can be quite helpful. People click through to those social media profiles and it provides social proof. Obviously what you wanna do is make sure that these links, when you click on them, they should open in a new tab, right? You don't wanna be sending people completely away from your registration page. So open that in a new tab so that people, when they close the tab, come right back to the registration page. Then on the side of that, we have a subheading, which really just gives you a bit more space to talk about the main benefit, explain why people should register for this. And then we have a big attractive looking button that invites people to click on it which opens the light box, which is basically just a two-step opt-in, right? So then in the light box, people opt in and that adds them to your mailing list and signs them up to the webinar event. In the next section below that, that is simply more information. We have just a nicely formatted section that tells people when this webinar is taking place. And you can also add this countdown here. You just set that countdown to expire at the same you know, at the point where your webinar starts. This is a good element to add because having just the date is a bit abstract, right? You just read a date, you're not quite sure, well, when exactly is that? The countdown helps you understand, oh, okay, it's five days from now, right? That makes more sense, makes more intuitive sense. So that's why we have a date and a countdown timer. Plus, of course, the countdown timer emphasizes the fact that this is, you know, a one-time event, this is a live thing. So it adds a certain a time constraint to it, right? It's not something where you can just, oh, I'll come back to this at some point later and sign up later because you can clearly see time is running out and this is only happening once. In the section below that, we have another subheading and then we have just a nicely styled list of points. And here I recommend you have maybe three to five points where you just highlight and tease some of the things you're gonna be talking about in the webinar. So the best kind of a point or list item to make here is a teaser, right? Give away, you know, maybe tell something that will be revealed during the webinar, something that sounds interesting or fascinating, but don't give away too much information. Like really make it as a teaser so people read this and go, oh my God, I need to see this webinar to find out what the secret behind this is or to find the bit that you haven't revealed yet. And then finally, after that, we have another very large button, attention grabbing button at the bottom. This also opens the light box. And below that, we simply have a note that I recommend you use this to just emphasize the scarcity of this. So emphasize that there are limited places on the webinar or maybe just emphasize, you know, yes, this is really a live thing. Uh, maybe you wanna emphasize here, if you don't do webinar recordings, that you, that you can emphasize, listen, this is happening live once, that's it. If you miss this, it's never gonna happen again. So the idea here is you have a final sign up button at the bottom, and then you have like a reiteration. Hey, if you're still reading this, here's another reason why you should stop reading and sign up instead. 
So that's why we use this node for you know, scarcity or time constraint or something like that. So this was a, a standard but highly effective registration page. And you'll see that this kind of registration page will do a lot better than your you know, default go to webinar style sign up page. But there is another problem with webinars. So while the live web webinar itself can be incredible for, for getting high conversions if you're doing a sales webinar, one issue with webinars is that there isn't any instant gratification. So that can be a problem, right? Someone comes to this page and they say, well, you know, this webinar is interesting to me, but it's happening next week. And you know how short attention spans are online. And generally, instant gratification is something that works extremely well on sign up pages, right? If you've ever seen a button that says get instant access, that is appealing to instant gratification. And with a webinar, we can't tap into that, or at least we couldn't until now. So let's have a look at the other template, which we call the double whammy sign up page. So we call this a double whammy because basically you're making two offers at the same time to boost the conversion rates. The first offer, the basic offer is for the webinar registration. So just like on the, re uh, on the previous page, you're advertising a webinar. So if we look at the template, once again, we have a large headline at the top and we have some information about the person presenting the webinar. But then in the section below, right away, we have an easy visual way to communicate. Okay, on the one hand, you're signing up for this live webinar. And on the other hand, you also get a thing right away. So in our example here, it would just be a downloadable PDF, right? We call this the productivity cheat sheet. Where you basically say, hey, look, you click on this button to register for the webinar and instantly download this cool thing that you want. So you're combining the benefits of the webinar with the instant gratification, the instant benefit of a free giveaway. In the sections below, again, we have the webinar date and a countdown timer. They're there for the same reasons as before. And then again, we have a list of points and you can use this to tease the benefits or some of the things that will be revealed during the webinar. And I also recommend that one of the points should be a reiteration of, hey, by the way, if you sign up right now, you get register to the webinar and you get this free thing. This free opt-in incentive that you're offering here, you know, follows the same rules as an opt-in incentive for any kind of opt-in form. So you can, this can be a free report, downloadable PDF, it can be, um, you know, a video or a video course or whatever. Ideally, it should be something that gives the impression of, you know, it's, it's small and easy to consume because again, we wanna to appeal to that instant gratification. And then at the very bottom, once again, we have a scarcity message that just makes it clear, hey, this is, you know, this is limited, this is only happening once and so on. And then again, we have a big fat button for signing up. Here we have a two-step opt-in process. So when you click the button, you can see the light box appear. And in the light box, again, we're taking a bit more time here. We're using a bit more space to communicate clearly you are signing up for a webinar and you're also getting a free downloadable thing right away. And we have an image to show that as well. So that's the webinar registration page and the double whammy webinar registration page in the Vibrant page set. And that's available right now in Thrive landing pages. So let us know if you have any other questions about webinar registration pages or any requests for future webinar registration pages by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.